Hello everyone, welcome to the combinational and sequential design practical series using Samuel ID. In today's session, we will study about the arithmetic circuits to design and implement a 2 bit by 2 bit multiplier. So, first of all, let us see how the multiplication works in case of binary numbers. Now, in 2 bit multiplication, uh, we have, of course, 2 bit, we, we will have 2, two bit numbers. With a 2-bit number, we can make 4 combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. These are the 4 combinations which are possible with 2-bit uh, binary, binary number. Now, 0, 0 is 0 in decimal. 0, 1 is 1. 1, 0 is 2. And 1, 1 is 3. So, to make this uh, understanding more simpler, uh, I have converted these numbers so that when we multiply actually, then we know what outcome we will be getting. So, this is 0, 1, 2, 3. We are multiplying this 0, 1, 2, 3 with another 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so this is the we can say the truth table of a multiplier. So on the left side we have B0, B1, A0, A1. So B0, B1 is a 2 bit number which is multiplied by A0, A1 which is another 2 bit number. On the right side we have the outputs. So P0, P1, P2, P3. So we expect the output would be of 4 bits. So uh, these are the inputs and the outputs. Let us understand them in more detail. So in the first four rows, what we see is A0, A1 is 0, 0 throughout for the first four rows and B0, B1, it changes from 0, 0 to 1, 1. So first input is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. In the second uh, case where we see that A0, A1 is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 throughout and B0, B1 goes from all zeros to all ones. This is how we have made, made the truth table. In the third case, we have A0, A1 as 1, 0 throughout and B0 changes from 0, 0 to 1, 1. In the last case, A0, A1 is 1, 1 and B0, B1 changes from all zeros to all ones. So, the, uh, at the left, we, we have the output. Let us see how, how we get this output. So, in the first four rows, we have, uh, of course, uh, all as 0, 0. Uh, A0 and A1 is 0, 0 throughout and B0, B1 is from 0, 0 to 0, 1. So, for the first case, 0, 0 into 0, 0 is of course 0, 0. So, uh, A0, A1 is 0. So, irrespective of whatever B1, B0 is there, we get 0, 0 as the output. So, this is what we are getting. In the next four rows, A0, A1 is 0, 1 throughout while B0, B1 changes from all zeros to all ones. So, first row 0 1 into 0 0 is of course 0 0 now in second case we have 1 1 is 1 so we get this result as 0 0 0 1 in the second case we have 0 1 into 1 0 so 2 1 are we get 2 in the third case we get 1 3 3 1 are 3 so this is what we are getting on the right hand side in the next four inputs the value of a 0 a 1 is 1 0 which is 2 so 2 0 is 0 2 1 are 2 2 2 are 4 and 3 2s are 6. This is what we are getting. In the final case, uh, final 4 rows, A0, A1 is 1, 1 throughout and B0, B1 changes from 0, 0 to 1, 1. So, 3 0s are 3, 3 0s are 0 and 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6 and 3 3s are 9. So, on the right side, we have this outputs. Now, to implement this, we need 4 K maps each for the output. So, for P3, we have this K map. So, what we see is we get just a single Okay, and this is the output P3 is A0, A1, B1, B0. So, A1, A0, B1, B0. This is the output we are getting. We will design it afterwards. <coughs> then for the second P2, this is the K map. We have uh, two pairs. So, this is the equation of the pair. For P1, we have, uh, we can see there are four pairs. So, this is the equation we are getting for the four pairs. And for P0, we are having a quad. And this is a very simple equation A0, B0. So, using all these four equations, the final circuit diagram is this one. Okay, This is the circuit diagram we can see uh, for P0, P1, P2, P3. Now, we will implement this using SimulID. So, you can implement using any other software. I am using this one and we will verify the output. So, now we are in the SimulID. Let us construct the circuit. I will go fast so as to save the time because the circuit is uh, having so many components. So, let us design now.
now after uh, implementing this circuit let us verify the working I will just turn this simulation on so now it is running so a0 a1 is 0 0 b1 b0 is also 0 0 so we are getting the expected answer all, all are 0 0 now let us make let us make it as 1 1 so I am making a0 as this is a0 a1 is 0 1 and this is also 0 1 so 1 1 is a 1 so 0 0 0 1 is the answer now let us make this b0 b1 as 1 1 so this is 1 into 3 so 3 1 is a 3 so this is 0 0 1 1 is 3 if I make all as 1, so this becomes 3 3 za. So 3 3 za 9, so it is 1 0 0 1. So you can act, I can act, actually do this all the combinations here. You can verify it. So I have verified few. You can verify the entire table from all zeros to all ones. So that's all for this particular session. Thanks for watching.